good day friends we are going to use a cool new program but before we do I want you to click drive and I want you to make a new folder to put the items in that we're making name that folder SketchUp after you hit create you'll notice it shows up and then start a brand new tab and I want you to type SketchUp for schools and then find the one that's in the G Suite marketplace it's important that you choose that one and then launch it uh, it doesn't let us install it at our school, but you can launch it from that button. When it launches, approve any questions it wants. If it wants to connect with your Gmail account, tell it yes. Use your school account. And let's immediately start building. Click on the dude in the center and click the delete key to eliminate him. Move over to the toolbar on the left and click and release so that you can then click again to choose the top rectangle tool. When you work in SketchUp, you always click and release. So I'm going to click at the origin and release. See how the mouse is allowing it to wiggle? And then I'm just going to stretch it out and click again to make my first rectangle. You can look at your rectangle from all angles by clicking the orbit tool and then dragging it around your screen. We can also do amazing things like turn this rectangle into walls by clicking this button and choosing the third one down called offset. When I move on top, you see the dots. If I click again, then it lets me stretch and move that to a certain amount. I'm going to make it look like a wall thickness. I like my walls about like that. And then I click again to make them permanent. I'm going to click the select tool and then delete the middle. So that'll be like the walls of a building. The next tool I want to show you is the amazing push-pull tool. When you find push pull, it's the top one, and then you can click it, and when you lift it up, you have all of a sudden got the walls of a house. I'm going to switch to that orbit tool, and I'm going to drag and look. You can also just use the wheel on the top of your mouse to orbit as well. I'm going to add a roof to our house really quickly by taking the pencil tool. And as I run along the front of the line, see that spot where it turns light blue or cyan? That's called a midpoint. When I click and let go, I can move my mouse all over the place and find a spot where the blue line comes on. That is lining up with what we call the z-axis. I'm going to pick a height. It doesn't matter what you choose. And it draws that line. I'm going to connect it to the corners. And I have just created a nifty roof for my house. I'm going to hit the erase tool and get rid of the middle line. I'm going to use that orbit tool and look at it from the other side. And then I'm going to go back to that amazing push-pull tool. And I'm going to pull my roof all the way across. And then see the red tip? I'm going to touch the tip to the corner and it makes it the exact right size. That is called inferring. I'm going to go to my rectangle tool again. I'm going to click on the rectangle. I'm going to add a door by clicking the midpoint, releasing, lifting up, and making a door of any size I want on my house. I'm going to switch to orbit, move so I'm looking a little bit underneath because I want to see the inside. See how I can see the walls? I'm going to push pull. And when I pull this in, I want to touch that inside corner. So I'm rolling my scroll wheel and touching that corner. And it cuts out my door. Let's use that same technique to add a window. I'm going to put a window on the side. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and the rectangle tool. And I'm going to just draw a rectangle on the wall. I'm going to orbit again, so I'm looking underneath. The reason I do this is so that I can see this edge of the wall right here. And this corner is my favorite corner. Push, pull, select the face with it wiggly, snap to that end point. Notice it's the red tip that you touch the corner, and it is cut out. Let's quickly push, pull a round window. Stretch it to whatever size you want your little fun window to be. Orbit so you're looking underneath again. That way we can see that edge that we touch. I'm making a huge window. Might as well be a door. 
there's my push pull and my push pull and once again this is the magic part you got to touch that corner so that it cuts the right amount now that our house is pretty amazing let's paint it real quick on the right side of your screen find the materials and under the materials you've got your basic colors but let's search for all the colors grab one that you think is cool and then paint your house you can pick many colors you just click and put the paint where you want it is important to note that SketchUp does not save for you so make sure that you save it we're gonna call this fun house And when you hit OK, it asks where you want to put it. And because we made that SketchUp folder to start our lesson, we are ready to save it. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun with the basics of how to build a house in SketchUp. Uh, stay tuned, and I will give you more interesting and fun things you can make as well.